there's not a moment to spare It's quite a drop from the top So how are you feeling down there? It's a cold, cruel, harsh reality caught stuck What's going on everybody? James Largo here, The Cichlid Shack, thecichlidshack.com The Cichlid Shack on Instagram and Facebook uh, Check out our website, www.thecichlidshack.com for all your fish shopping and supply needs. We are here today to do an inventory walkthrough of some of the new shipment that we got in. Uh, this is a breeding colony of my blue sunsets. Figure I'd give you a shot of those. And I got one other new colony since the last time you guys uh, probably saw. Uh, Turkus, I'll call it Turkus. This is a German strain group. I uh, got them from Butch Livingston at Southeast Cichlids. Uh, they're straight from Germany. They're from him. Uh, working on getting these guys going, but you can see that that male is four inch plus and the finish on him is just uh, outstanding. And I also got a backup male up here. Um, the other guy that's in the tank behind me kind of beat him up. So we've been healing him up for about a couple weeks. So he's looking good. Uh, for those of you who uh, saw that I added a couple of Phoenix to the inventory list, um, there are your two Phoenixes, the two lucky customers who figured out that they were there and ordered them. They are in quarantine right here waiting for shipping. Uh, so you can see your beautiful phoenixes there. And there is one up here. Without further ado, we'll get to what you guys are here to see. <clears throat> and don't mind, I usually like to finish all my water changes before doing these videos, but my water change days are Saturday and Sunday, but uh, been getting bombarded with emails for this uh, update video. So um, we're gonna do the video before the water changes. Um, I mean, some of them are done, but some of the other ones are not. So excuse the dirty glass. And if there's some stuff stirring up, it's because it's the sixth and seventh day they're due for their water changes. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful Ingar flame tails of plenty. Uh, we have males and females available. Uh, these guys, males are four and a half to five inch, some even six. Females I have everywhere from two and a half to three inch to three and a half to four inch females. Down here, beautiful red top Lawandas, um, Rubescens, and OB Electric Blues. So OB Ali's is basically what you're looking at. And these guys are something special. Uh, I know the camera's not gonna pick it up, but uh, they're very blue and, and, and cream colored and they even have some orange going through their bodies as well as in their anal fins. Uh, so, I mean, they're very, very nice at four and a half to five inch or so. I mean, they're every big as big, a uh, bit as big as the rubescens. Their body just isn't as wide. They're more narrow, like the Ali. Uh, hopefully the camera picks them up even just a little bit and you guys can see those, because uh, they're really, really nice. Some more of them over here, and the Lawandas are looking beautiful as always. Down here we have beautiful Kobu Regal Blues, some Mbenjai Regal Blues, some Lemon Jakes. Uh, you can see all four and a half to five inch. The Mbenjais are, you know, four inch, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, but Kobus and Benjais, Lawanda, or uh, Lemon Jakes in there. Up here, if you saw me on Instagram, these are those absolutely monstrous and gorgeous 
Lethernop Oculatus. Uh, these guys came in very, very colored up and uh, very, very nice. I also have a nice four and a half to five inch sulfur head peacock in there, as well as the Lethernop Margionatus Redfin. Those are the four inch guys that you see in there. Uh, some of them are showing really good color as well. Uh, but the star of this tank, definitely these Lethernop Oculatus. And they're being feisty so they're stirring stuff up and that's what I mean by my water changes. I usually get them done before I do these videos but everybody's antsy so here we are. But uh, those are looking really really nice. Down in this tank, uh, Imperial Tigris Blue Golds. These guys are still settling in. Their colors are starting to come back from shipping. You can see his gold bellies there and uh, the blue is coming back in. They're starting to settle in pretty well. Uh, also some Taiwan Reefs, three and a half, four and a half, five inch. Down here, some big boys. Six inch Venustus, four and a half inch, three and a half inch to four inch Venustus. Uh, living Stone Eye, some very nice Living Stone Eye, uh, six inch at least. Some, I do have some four and a half to five inchers also. Uh, I also got some females. So if anybody wants to breed Living Stone Eyes, uh, I have males and females. There's a nice fired up one right there. Living Stone Eye. And these Venustis are very, very nice as well. There's one that's fired up, and here's one with the X pattern that you're, you know, you're, uh, what you're used to seeing. And there's the one that's fired up in his breeding dress, and all the patterns are gone. All right, down the middle aisle here. Let's see what we got going on. I have a breeding group here, small group, I got a male or two and four females of albino sunshines if anybody's interested in breeding those. Uh, Malaria Chidunga rocks at three and a half to four inch, I got tons of those. Over here some stuff out of the tub, some Apache peacocks. Uh, three and a half to four inch fluorescence, and that ruby red is spoken for. I also have a breeding group of Madoka flame tails, a male and three females, and I actually am running a special on four inch uh, blue dolphins. We can get you a quad of blue dolphins for anybody's interested at four inch. So a male, four inch male, and three four inch females for $69.99. Uh, that's an incredible price. Uh, these proven breeder females usually go from $20 and up, and sometimes even more than that because female dolphins look exactly like the males. So, I mean, uh, they're just as beautiful as the males. So you can uh, put them in your show tank either way. Uh, so $69.99 will get you a four inch male and three females at three and a half to four inch for those who would like to breed them or I mean if you like dolphins it's a great opportunity to pick up four dolphins for the price of uh, you know usually one and a half to two. If you're interested in that hit me up at jlargo20 at gmail.com. In this tank Beautiful tur turquoise peacocks. Oh, plenty. There's about a dozen of them in here settling in. Uh, some three and a half to four inch otter points out of my grow out tubs. Uh, Malawi eye biters, five inch plus. Uh, the dominant one right now is right there. And I also have a few three and a half to four inch red shoulder peacocks from my grow out tubs in there. Down here, beautiful blue neons, four and a half to five inch. I have some three and a half to four inchers, and beautiful colored up red cap lethronops. 
looking really really nice uh, look at that blue neons but uh, my favorite I love Lethernops so I mean these red caps are something special up here I've been getting a lot of uh, questions and emails about these Mylochromus gracilis these are fish that you won't see all the time uh, starting to get some really really nice color coming back in also up here are flavescence three and a half to four inch and Christinatus mumbos there's a really nice couple of mumbos up there the blues coming through and the white blaze you can see the yellow anal fin um, but these Mylochromus gracilis really really nice uh, most of them six inch there's a few of them in here like uh, that guy maybe around five five and a quarter but these guys are good size all males up here some monster six to seven inch Taiwan reefs uh, fired up chasing each other around this morning as well as some four and five inch in D-Way fire haps still settling in their colors are starting to come back in pretty nice so big beast Taiwan reefs and in D-Way fire haps down here I have a couple of nice big uh, Mar rocks and you can see that that guy's starting to get his blaze coming in these guys are every bit of five or six inches now um, if you know anything about mar rocks true mar rocks uh, are very late bloomers and you can see this guy's getting some really nice blue and his orange is coming in and his tail fin uh, and he's five and a half six inches and just now starting to color up so if that gives you any idea of but once these guys do color up, they really are amazing. Uh, also in this tank, 5 inch Fuscos. Still settling in. Uh, there's a dominant one in here somewhere. The, there he is, his blue, his face is turning blue again. And also bicolors. Uh, three and a half to four inch as well as four and a half to five inch. And some of my OBs out of the tubs and I know this one's gonna fly out of here. Uh, he's four and a half to five inch. Uh, I pulled him out of the tubs. I must have missed him the last couple times because he's way bigger than everybody else. Uh, beautiful patterns, long fins. Uh, it's it's kind of like a reddish orange side, uh, really deep orange. He's uh, very very beautiful. And there's a, a, another one in here just like them, just about an inch smaller somewhere. Must be hiding. Because they were uh, going out at the two of them when I put him in there. I think it might be this one. But he was just as colored up as that other one, but uh, obviously this one won. Uh, what else do we got here? Oh, everybody loves these. Absolutely gorgeous. No need for any flashlight on these. Gleaming sunshines. And when I say gleaming, the camera probably really doesn't even do them the justice they deserve because they man are they yellow. Also in this tank, uh, five inch ivory head melodos. If you're a sucker for a blaze eye like I am, um, yeah, that's I don't need to say anything else about that. Uh, there's a goldfin borley eye in here and five to six inch Taiwan reefs. Up here, some big beautiful Azuris, five, six inch Azuris. A nice one right there. Also some five inch Eureka Reds. What else do we got here? Oh yes. Let's not forget another outstanding blaze fish. 
lithobate sulfur heads, Xerox, uh, that red sun is sold and so is that big dragon blood uh, uh, OB. Yeah, that guy is just beautiful, the lighting just doesn't do him justice, he's bright orange and white. <clears throat> uh, but these Xerox, if you're a sucker for a blaze, like I said, um, yeah, okay. I mean, come on now. And that blaze goes all the way down its backside, across its tail, into its tail fins. I mean, these are uh, quality Xerox here, folks. What else? So, big sexy. He's got his breeder's dress on, my super red empress. Trying to get busy today, looking uh, beautiful as always. Still have some of these uh, Hapachroma species ultra reds. Got a few eclipses in here. Um, a few three and a half to four inch lemon jakes. Got some two and a half to three inch as well as three and a half to four inch albino strawberries. There's a good shot of an eclipse for you there. Also have a three and a half, bunch of three and a half to four inch Eureka Reds, and I apologize about the lighting in this corner, it's not the greatest, but these guys are really, really nice for my breeder. All right, folks, give me another shot of these outstanding Lethernop Oculatus. That guy, for some reason, is uh, the dominant one in the tank right now, and uh, look at those, that anal fin with those egg spots. I mean, I hope the color's showing up because the green on these guys right now and the coloring is just insane. Always one of my favorites, the blue golds. Stay tuned early next week. I have another shipment coming in uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And I'll let slip, I'll give you guys a hint of a few of the ones that are coming that I know everybody's been looking for. Four and a half to five inch Phosochromus rostratus and four to five inch trouts as well as Mylochromus and Phromimus and I'm probably butchering that but another Mylochromus, uh, some midnight peacocks. I got some Pheno star sapphires coming. Uh, I've been getting bombarded about Madoka White Lips. Uh, I am working on that. I have a line on some 3 inch ones. So I'm hoping to bring in some 3 inch Madoka White Lips. That's still a work in progress, but we're working on that. Uh, and also some other things. We're still working on our move to the other side of town to expand into a 3 car garage. So this year we having some amazing things going on here at the Cichlid Shack. I want to take a moment to congratulate Jay and Mindy Wilson on the birth of their baby boy last night or early this morning, uh, baby Liam. Uh, God blesses in many ways and has blessed the Wilson family with a beautiful baby boy. If you get the chance, message Jay Wilson and Mindy, congratulate them on the birth of their child. Uh, very exciting time for them. Jay Wilson in North Finn, USA, if you're not familiar. Uh, check out his website for quality North Finn and Seachem Boyd Enterprise products. Uh, we do feed North Finn in the Cichlid Shack from North Finn, USA. Again, I just want to take a moment to congratulate Jay and Mindy Wilson on the birth of their child. It's always a blessing to have a child come into this world and everything that they had to go through to get to this point, God has blessed them in many ways. Alright folks, one last shot of these electric uh, OB electric blues. Uh, I'm hoping you're picking up the coloration in that guy because uh, wow. Alright folks, until next week when the next shipment comes in. Have a good and safe, blessed weekend. Peace.